Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take another quick look at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Now, ever since I've gotten the Millennium Falcon and the Slave One expansions, I've wondered who would win on a one-on-one -on -one battle between the two. Well, uh, we're here today to answer that question. Vinny's going to be taking on uh, the role of the Millennium Falcon, while I'll be playing as Slave One. Who will win? Watch to find out. My fire spray is being piloted by Crassus Trelix. I have also turned my fire spray into the Slave One ship. Uh, doing so um, allows me to add a proton torpedo icon to my upgrade bar. Normally it doesn't have one. As such, I managed to add the advanced proton torpedoes upgrade. I also have a gunner, proximity mines, shield upgrade, heavy laser cannon, and concussion missiles. Vinny's YT-1300 is being piloted by Han Solo. He has also turned his YT-1300 into the Millennium Falcon. He also has the Mercenary Co-Pilot, Marksmanship, Cluster Missiles, Chewbacca, and Shield Upgrade cards. Alright, now it's also worth quickly mentioning that um, our point cap is 65. Both of us have 65 points exactly. I know I threw a lot of upgrade cards at you. If you have any questions on these, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I've also published videos on both the Millennium Falcon and the Slave One expansion, so definitely check out those videos if you have any questions or want to know about these cards in detail. Alright, movement phase. Uh, we'll start with lowest to highest. I have the lowest pilot skill at 5. You have what, 9? Yeah. yeah, so I'll always go first in movement, you'll always go first in uh, combat. So, uh, well, let me go ahead and resolve mine. I have four straight ahead. There it is. Alright, and for my action... Not in range yet. Um... You may be in range, though, for combat. I'll go ahead and play a focus. All right, your turn. What are you going to resolve yours? Three straight ahead? Mm, I might be. Maybe. That's the downside to moving first. I could have had a target lock on you. You're definitely in range of me. Three. Okay, now for your action, what are you going to do? Marksman. You're going to do marksmanship? Alright, and that will resolve that movement phase. Alright, combat phase. Um, you get to attack first because you have the high, higher pilot skill. We are at range 3. Now I would get an extra defense die because of that. Uh, 3 defense die for me. How many attack do you three. get? 3. Okay, so go ahead, um, go ahead and roll it whenever you're ready to. You've got a critical hit and a regular hit. Um, this mechanic pilot co-pilot already it's thing. It says when attacking a range three you may change one of your um, regular results to a critical. Okay, so your mercenary co-pilot lets you change a regular hit to a critical. So you've got two criticals there. Plus the American Falcon's ability, when attack you may roll all attack guys if so, you want. No, all attack. You must roll all of them. So if you're gonna re roll, you have to re roll all of them. Okay, so you're not gonna do that. So anything else you've got going on there that you want to change? Your marksmanship would only, the action that you took with your marksmanship, that only counts if you have focus, which you didn't roll any. All right, so you've got two criticals. So are you ready for me to roll now? All right. I got three defense, two normally. Um, I get an extra one because I'm at range three. And I have one evade and one focus. I will go ahead and use my focus to turn my focus token to turn focus into evade. So two criticals, two evades, the attack cancels out. No damage done. Alright, now I get to attack. Again, we're at range three. Now normally I would get to roll three attack dice, but I'm going to go ahead and use my heavy laser cannon. That lets me roll four attack dice. It's at range two to three. The stipulation is I have to turn all of my critical hits into regular hits after the attack is done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, I've got one critical and one focus, so I have to turn that into a regular hit. However, I do have a special ability. Um, Crassus Trelik uh, can, when attacking with a secondary weapon, you may re-roll one attack die. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this blank one, re-roll that. I have a focus, so I have one hit. Uh, so now you get to roll for defense, two defense die. Uh, one blank and one focus, that is one face down damage card. Actually, no, you have how many shields? 
Five. Okay, so you just lose one shield. Actually, you should have six shields because of your shield upgrade, right? How many shields you got? Six. Six. Alright, just take one, so now you have five left. And that will end the combat phase. Okay, movement phase. Uh, we'll go ahead and resolve mine first. I have the lower pilot skill. Hard left at three. Okay, now for my special action, I will, let's see, I'm at range, well, I'm within range, obviously, here, range two. I'm going to go ahead and apply a target lock. All right, and that's my movement. Uh, what about you? What do you got? Three that way. <laughs> so you're going to run into me, hopefully? Probably not. Well, we'll see. Looks like it. Yeah, you hit me. All right, so let's... Darn. Uh, it's right there. Okay. So you did run into me. Uh, that means we can't target each other right next to <clears throat> um, But you also do not get an action. So um, that will actually just conclude the movement phase. All right. Uh, there was no combat phase because we couldn't target each other. So we're going to move on to the next movement phase. I uh, get to go first. Two hard left. And for my action, what am I going to do? I guess I will use a, um, I'll use a focus. All right, you get to resolve your movement. Three that way. All right. And I don't think you're on the target. All right, we'll see in a minute here. Hold on. All right, so it's base to base. All right, so yeah, my base is, or this is, two. yeah, at two. Um, actually, it's closest base to, cl well, no. Yeah, based on this, it is two. The firing arc extends up to this part here, uh, so that would be two. It doesn't matter for you. The Millennium Falcon um, has uh, an entire 360-degree firing arc with his primary weapon. Target lock. So you're going to use a target lock action. that and there's that and that will conclude the movement phase okay combat phase you get to shoot first uh, your secondary weapon is your arc here which I'm you're not I'm not in range of but your primary weapon is the entire 360 degrees as long as you're in range which you are so you're at range two uh, actually you are in range one because of just the way these are sitting okay so you would get an extra attack dice with your primary weapon so I'll attack you all right. I get four. Four attack dice, okay. Anything else? You're good? Yeah, let's see what I get. I'll re-roll all of them because of that one ability. So you're going to re-roll all uh, with Han Solo's special ability, okay? All right, so one hit, one focus, two blanks. That's what I love. All right, so... I'll use the co-pilot that turns into critical. So you're going to use your mercenary co-pilot to turn that in. Now, what range is that, though? At range three. Yeah, so that goes back to regular hit. Nice try. All right. Um, defense for me. Normally, I would get two agility. Um, is there anything I can use to up that? Doesn't look like it. All right, so I get two defense die. Two blanks. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, that stinks. Uh, I don't think I can do anything to, uh, yeah. All right. So, you get one hit on me, and I lose um, one shield. I go from having uh, five shields because of my shield upgrade to four shields, which is what my ship originally had. And uh, I get to shoot back now. So, let's go ahead and see. Again, the firing arc is at range two. Two, just the way closest base to closest See, I don't know how that works. I don't know if the closest base to closest space would be one, but the firing arc is this. So I'm going to just make a judgment call and use range two, just to be fair. Um, so I do not get an extra attack die. My heavy laser cannon is at range two to three, so I get to roll four attack dice. So I'm going to use my secondary weapon. Um, I'm all right. one. 
actually hold that thought. No, I'm not at range one. Yeah, I'll use my heavy laser, heavy laser cannon. So let me roll these first before you roll yours. Um, one. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have three hits and a critical, but because that heavy laser, I have to um, change that to a regular hit. So I have four hits. You got one blank. Um, so is there any cards that you have that can help you out possibly? What's Chewbacca do? Says when you're down a damage card, you may immediately discard it and recover one. One shield. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, you get four damage cards, or you get, but you didn't, you're not dealt any damage cards this time. Those are all shield hits. How many shields do you have? Five. You have five. So you lose four of those five, and now you're down to one shield. Right. And the Chewbacca card would kick in once you get a damage card. So that will conclude the combat phase for this turn. Okay, movement phase. Uh, we'll go ahead and resolve mine first. I have the lower pilot skill. 3k turn. Now that is a red maneuver, so I'll have to add a stress token. And as such, I do not get any sort of special ability with that. So you get to, or action rather, so go ahead, you get a 3k turn as well. Oh, look at you. Uh, are you going to fall off the mat? No. Uh, barely not, okay. Yeah, you are just at the edge there. <laughs> Alright, now you also receive a stress token. Um, you also do not get to take an action because of that stress. And that will conclude the movement phase for this particular turn. Okay, combat phase. Um, as far as range is concerned, looks like range two. Uh, his primary weapon is obviously in range. It's a 360 arc. His secondary weapon is also in range of my ship. So um, what are you going to use? Which, which? Cluster. It, cluster missiles. Okay, that's a secondary weapon. He gets to roll three attack dice, and that, he can perform that attack twice. And you're at range 1 to 2, is that what that is? Okay, so you're good with that. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and roll that attack. Okay, so you've got one hit, one focus, and one blank. So I'm going to go ahead and roll two defense die. I have two agility. All right, I've got two evades, so that cancels out that attack. Uh, but you get to roll another attack. All right, you've got one hit, one oh, focus. You're going to use Han Solo's. Now, is that primary weapon or secondary? No. When attacking, you may... Okay, so you're going to use Han Solo's to re-roll all of those. One hit, one blank, one focus. So I just need one evade. All right, I've got one evade. So I uh, that attack gets canceled out. No damage is done. Okay, now it's my turn to shoot back. You spent your target lock to use those cluster missiles, so I'm going to quickly... Get rid of those. All right, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot back. Um, now, the way the fire spray's um, primary weapon attack works, I can attack with within the primary and the auxiliary firing arcs, which are back here. The secondary weapon only counts on the front. So I am in range of the uh, primary weapon at range 2. So I normally would get three attack dice with that. Now, do I have anything else I can use? No. All right, I'll go ahead and do that. I've got one hit, one focus. So how many defense do you get? One. One. Focus. Okay, so you got one damage, so you remove one shield. So now you're shieldless at the moment, but how much hull do you have? Eight. Eight, so yeah, I've got a ways to go. So you're shieldless at the moment, and that will resolve the combat phase for this particular turn. All right, movement phase. We'll go ahead and resolve mine first. One slight right, uh, and that is a green maneuver, so it removes the stress token. Um, all right, where am I at? There it is. All right, and for my action... I will go ahead and use, hmm, what do I have? I guess I'll use a focus. And your movement? One straight. One straight. Green maneuver? Sorry, I know that's just okay. And that is a green maneuver. 
I'll be attacking. I'll use the ability marksman. Stress token is eliminated, and what are you uh, marksman. doing? Marksman. You're doing your marksmanship? Yes. All right. And that concludes the movement phase for this particular round. Okay, combat phase. Um, you get to shoot first because you have the higher pilot skill. You are at range one, uh, so you get how many attack dice? Four. Um, and I would get two. Two friends. Yeah, so go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, you've got one hit, two focus. Um, I will change these because of that marksman. One critical and one regular. Okay. So your marksmanship allows you to change those um, into, I see, one hit and one, one critical. So you've got two regular hits, one critical. And I get, I'm going to use my evade token. Or not evade, but focus token to turn that into an evade. So that's one evade. Um, is there anything else I can use to get out of this? Um, no. Okay, so that is two damage. One critical, one regular hit. I lose two shields. That brings me down to two shields left and six hull. And that will conclude the combat phase for this turn because I am not within range of... Um, my firing arc um, does not extend to his ship. So he is out of range. Okay, movement phase. I get to resolve mine first. Lowest pilot skill. Two hard right. And for my action, I will, let's see, I guess I will use a focus. And yours is a one slight right. Well, you're going to run into me, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> Just leave mine there. No. All right, they could slid there. up, like, okay, now our bases are touching. All right, now you do not get an action because you ran into me. So that will conclude the movement phase for this turn. Okay, movement phase. Um, there was no combat phase because we were both touching and thus we couldn't target each other. So we're going to go ahead and resolve another movement phase. I get to go first. Three hard right. And for my action, I will take, hmm, I will go ahead and take an evade token. All right, and uh, your movement is four straight ahead. And that's a white maneuver. White maneuver? Actually, might be close. All right, and what are you going to do with your action? I will do, hmm, I'll do the marksman. Marksmanship? Yeah. Okay, and that will conclude the movement phase for this particular turn. Okay, combat phase. Um, again, my firing arc is not within range of him, but he can shoot me. Um, he gets to shoot first anyway. You are at range two. You get that first. So how many attack dice do you get? Three? Yeah. All right, and I get two defense, so whenever you're ready. One critical. I'll You're going to use Han Solo's special ability to reroll all attack dice. Three hits. Ouch. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So I got to roll something good here. One focus. One blank. I do have an evade token, so I will have to spend that. That would result in two regular hits. Thank you. So now I am shieldless as well, and I am down to six hull. All right, movement phase. I get to do mine first. Two hard left. And I will, for my action, uh, take a focus token. And your movement is what? Three this way. Three... Slight left. And I can pull it up. Got it? This way. Alright. And what's the 
Alright, and what um, action do you want to take? What action do you want with yours? Uh, I will do the focus. Focus? Alright. Alright, and that concludes the movement phase for this turn. Okay, combat phase. He gets to shoot first. He is at range 3. So, you get 3 attack dice. I get uh, three as well. I get three defense die. Two normally, one being at range three. So you go ahead and use yours first. All right, so you've got three regular hits. All right. Um, what are you doing? This is when you're attacking at range three. Yes, I am. I have to change one of my regular. To All right, so go ahead. He's going to use his mercenary co-pilot to change a hit into a critical. So now I need to roll my three defense. I've got two evade and one evade token, so that cancels out those three attack, so no damage is done. All right, let's get that, and now I get to fire back. You still have your focus. Um, I'm going to use my heavy laser cannon. That lets me fire with four attack dice, range two to three. All right, before you roll, let me do my thing. Mm -hmm. All right, I've got one hit, one critical. I'm going to use my special ability. When attacking with a secondary weapon, you may re-roll one attack die. Blank. Okay, so I've got one hit, one critical. You've got two evade. So no damage is done there. However, Gunner, after you perform an attack that does not hit, immediately perform a primary weapon attack. You cannot perform another attack this round. So I get to do a primary weapon attack, which is, let's see, three attack dice. And I get but two. You, yeah, wait till I'm done with mine first. Mm. All right, one hit, one critical. Mm. You've got two evade, you lucky devil. Okay, so no damage was done that particular combat round, and um, that will end that particular combat phase. All right, movement phase. I get to move mine first. Two straight ahead, green maneuver. And I will take a focus. And yours. What do you got? 3K. 3K, all right. Movement of truth. <laughs> Are you gonna fall off? No. But I'm at collision force. <laughs> Collision course. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna collision. All right, you get a stress token, so you can you do not get an action with that. Uh, where's the stress tokens? There we go. A range three. Barely. All right, and that will conclude the movement phase. Okay, combat phase. We are at range three, so you're gonna attack with what now? Hmm. Do you have any secondary weapons at all or no? No, I only have to do primary. One. So you get three attack dice. And you get three. Yeah, we'll do yours first. All right, so two hits. I will use him. To... You're going to re-roll Han Solo's special ability? All right, that's all of them. All right, one focus, one critical, one hit. I will change, because I'm at range three, I can change this one just to a critical. So two criticals. Two criticals, okay. I get three defense die. All right, I've got two evade and a focus. I will go ahead and use my focus token, and that turns into three evades, so no damage was done for that uh, turn. Now I get to shoot back. I will use my heavy laser cannon that's at range three, four attack dice. Let me roll mine first, though. Yeah, I have two. And again, I have that special ability that I can use. Um, I have one critical, but I have to turn that. Um, my special ability allows me to take one of these and re-roll it. Hit. Alright, so I've got two hits. You've got two blanks. Jeez. So that is two face down damage cards. I'll use this one, Chewbacca, to discard one. Alright, so you're going to use, you're going to discard your Chewbacca card. It says, when you are dealt a damage card to me, immediately discard that card and recover one shield. Then discard this upgrade. So you get one shield back. You still take one damage, though, from having two hits. So this goes away. So I only have seven hits. All right, and that will conclude the movement or the combat phase for this turn. Movement phase. I move first. 
straight at two. Okay, and for my action, I will play a focus. What do you got? Three, yeah, well, hold on. <laughs> no, that's where, yeah, you're going to hit me. We can't attack each other, either. Alright, so let's... Mm, just me. Alright, so you're, let's move you right like that. Okay. Alright, so we did strike each other like that, um, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can't uh, we can't target each other for the combat phase. So we're just going to go ahead and skip ahead to the movement phase. Movement phase. Resolve mine first. 4K turn. Uh, I think you're going to head off the edge. Well, I just have to find. Hold on. All right, I'm over to I'm over on this side here. So let's go ahead and. Thank you. There we go. All right, I get a stress token for that, and as such, no action. And your turn is what? Two straight. That will remove your stress token. And, and let's see what range I'm well, in. I know you're in range. Hmm, very close. It's about three. All right, so, well... What action do you want to take? Marks. I'll do a focus. Focus. Alright. And that concludes the movement phase for this turn. Okay, combat phase. Uh, you get to shoot first. Um, we are at range... Two. Two, barely. Okay. So, what are you going to use? Your primary weapon? Yeah. Okay, so you get uh, how many attack dice? Three. Three. Okay, so go ahead whenever you're ready. Uh. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just don't hit my ship. You've got one critical, one focus. I will, use, I will re roll. You're going to use Han Solo's ability to re roll. One critical, one hit. Okay, so you're going to leave it like that. All right. Um, I get two defense die for defense. And one evade, one focus. That deals me one critical hit. All right. Um, treat all turn maneuvers, hard left or hard right, as red maneuver. It's a damaged engine card. Okay, good to know. And I've got a haul of five left. So now I get to attack. I'm going to use my heavy laser cannon again. And I get four attack dice with that. Alright, so I've got... Oh, well, I wish I had my focus uh, token. Uh, I'm going to pick one to reroll. Blank. So one hit. One evade. Wow, you lucked out there. Okay. So that concludes the combat phase for this turn. Movement phase. Two straight. That removes my stress token. And I will take a focus. And um, what are you going to do here? You've got three slight this way. Okay. There we go. Oh. And for your action, what are you going to do? Hi, so I'm not sure we're in range yet. So we're at three. Hmm. I'll use my focus. Focus. All right, and that concludes the movement phase for that turn. Combat phase, you get to shoot first. Range three. Range three, so I get an extra defense die whenever that comes up. You get three with your primary attack. Let's see what I do. 
Two hits and a focus. Jeez. Oh. I'll use that focus. So you're going to use your focus token. Plus that ability to change one to critical. So your mercenary will change one hit to a critical. So you've got wow. two hits and a critical <laughs> hit. Uh, this is not my day. All right. Wow. Ah, uh, crap. I've got two blanks and a focus. Um, hmm. Well, I suppose I will um, not choose to spend my focus, and I'll just take one critical and two hits. So, let's do that. For my critical, immediately receive one stress token, then flip this card face down. That's four. Alright, so yeah, I have four hits to my six hull. So I've got two hits left before I'm dead. Alright, now I get to attack you back. Um, I'm going to use my heavy laser cannon. And let me go ahead and roll those now. Alright, um, this is actually a good one. I'm going to spend my focus before... Alright, let's do that. And turn this into a regular hit. And I'm going to change these two criticals into hits. So I have four hits here. Four regular hits, and you're at range two, so two defense, uh, two blanks, so you take four hits. So, I take so you take one shield away and three face down damage cards. That's four, I only need four more. Alright, so you've got four damage to your eight hull, so four more hits and you're out. And that will conclude the movement or the combat phase for this turn. Movement phase, two straight ahead. That removes the stress token I got from that face-up damage card. And I will get a focus for that. And yours is four straight ahead. All right, then. That is a white maneuver. Are we in range of each other? No, we are not. So there will be no combat phase this turn. Alright, movement phase. Three straight. Oh, there it is. Alright, and I will take a focus. You've got a 3k turn. The question is, will you go off the table? Um, barely not. You are just at the edge. You got lucky. And it's closest base to closest base. Uh, we're still not in range. So there will be no combat phase for this turn. Okay, movement phase. Um, I get to resolve mine first. One straight ahead, it's a green maneuver. Um, the last turn, he did get a stress token. I forgot to mention that for making that K turn. All right. And I will get a focus for my action. And what is yours? One straight ahead? <laughs> Green yeah. maneuver. Someone's dying. Okay, someone's going to get it. You get to shoot first, so... Uh, we are at range one. Bear, no. Yes, range one. Closest base to closest base. So you get an extra attack die. You get two. I have to, I have to hope. I just have to hope. Oh yeah, I get rid of that focus. Right. Oh yeah, you get rid of the focus. Um, Stress, and then I get, I'll do... You're going to do a focus or... Marksman. Marksmanship, okay. Good catch. Ouch. All right, so two hits and a critical... All right, and I think I'm dead here. Focus, evade. Yeah, if, if I turn this focus into an evade, that gets rid of um, that. And that's two, it's one hit, one critical. And there is no way for me to get out of that. So I get two hull damage and two face down damage cards. So my mm -hmm. ship is gone. One critical. You don't need to rub it in there, Chief. Huh, reduce one of Judy Valley by one. Now he's he, now he's rubbing it in. Yeah, <laughs> good game. 
<laughs> Good game. <laughs> well, there you have it. Uh, in a fight between the Slave One and the Millennium Falcon, it looks like the Millennium Falcon won out. Um, I was really trying to save that target lock for my advanced proton torpedoes, but he got that hit in at the last second before I could use it. So, um, yeah, the dice was with him today, but hopefully next time um, I'll be able to win out. So with that said, you can check out my review at uh, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com, or you can click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. This is... I and try Vinny this again. Jr. And Vinny Jr. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I'm still mad at you for winning. Okay, no, I'm kidding. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll, ca we'll catch you next time. <laughs>